Това видео достига до вас благодарение на Project Audio Systems, Audio Technica, Sennheiser, Goldring, QED и QAcoustics. Здравейте, приятели! Името ми е Тони и днес имам с честа да разговарям с Анди, Анди Рейган от Дан Кларк Аудио. Съжаление, Дан Кларк не успя, човекът Дан Кларк не успя да присъства, но за сметка това е неговата дясна ръка и съответно Подобно на другите интервюта и това ще бъде на английски. So switching now to English. Andy, first of all, thank you very much for the time spent here. Tell us more about uh, Dan Clark, uh, not the person, the company, and how the change was done from Mr. Speakers, because before Dan Clark Audio was Mr. Speakers. Right, yeah. And what's the difference between the two companies? Well, nothing really. I came to the company about five years ago. Yeah. Uh, from I, I was running JH Audio. Yeah. And Uh, Dan and I had been friends for a long time. I really liked the headphones he built. So he said when he wanted to grow, he came and hired me to come and work for him. And I worked there for about eight or nine months, and I said to him, do we ever intend to make speakers? And he said, no. I said, then where's this stupid name come from? He goes, oh, we had to come up with a name real quick when we were just thinking about the company. So we said, well, it doesn't really denote who we are. Yeah. So we changed the name to Dan Clark Audio. You know, because Dan is a well-known name in, yeah. in the industry. So it, it worked out great. Same more like Zenkaiser, we have like we have such name brands that are named after the Meze is also after uh, Antonio Meze, so it's yeah. It makes more sense for people to, to, to see it. Well yeah, yeah, plus I guess we're not making speakers. Yeah. <laughs> and what is the difference between Dan Clark Audio and the, we have many brands here? How would you say that Dan Clark Audio is different? Well, I think, you know, there's, there's many planar manufacturers here, like Meza or yeah. one of those. They all make great heavy headphones. And they're all friends of mine. They're all yeah. friends of ours. And I said, we think we make well, a more musical, dynamic planar. Like, people have said to us, our, our, our clothes back sound like they're open. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're going for uh, as much of a natural sound. And, we, and both Dan and I both come from music backgrounds. I ran big rock and roll tours for 30 years. You know, I worked for the Rolling Stones, I worked for them. I'm an engineer by trade, but uh, we're, we're both into music. And we both like the design work to complement everything, like the way it folds up, the way it goes on your head, the way... It, So we've had much success, and people, I think, say quite relatively, like with the new folder, yeah. that, that we have the, what, some of the best industrial design as well. So, so for us, it's a whole package, and but it, comes, it all comes from music. And everything is made on the West Coast? Yeah, it's all made in San Diego, California. Yeah, so like from the... It's like literally when we speak that, when we say that we have a U.S. brand, It's really a U.S. brand made in U.S. Oh, absolutely, yes. yeah. We, we do buy some parts yeah. from Asia, but they're all... You gotta remember, we still build our headphones like we always did. They're handcrafted. They're hand-matched. Yeah. So we have... A, Jude from Headfi says that we have the tightest matching tolerance between left and right pairs than any, anybody in the industry. And so, so we still, you know, we... We, we, like right now, the E3 is very popular. We can't keep up with the demand because we, we're not going to compromise the way we built. Now, this is something that we need to also have in our showroom very soon, the E3. We love the E.ON you know, series, uh, Neuer. Nice, nice brand, nice product, but we need to go forward on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And any plans for Dynamics? No. No, we're a planar company. And you have electrostatics as well? No, yeah, well, one. What? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you know. And uh, regarding the, the, is there anything new coming in uh, this year Munich from down the park? Not, not, not this, not at Munich, but probably in the next four or five months there'll be something really So cool. for Christmas, perhaps your next headphones may be from Doug Quark. Could be, could be, could be. <laughs> All right, and do we have three questions that we ask everybody, and then we're going to make a nice compilation. Okay. First of all, uh, analog or digital uh, audio sources? Which would you prefer? Well, they're both good. They just need to be really well made. I mean, really good digital sounds 
better than the average analog. Yeah. So, you know, and people are collecting records now. I know it's a big hobby now. Yeah. We gotta remember, I'm old enough where I, I grew up on records. There was no CD or anything like, like that. So I see the improvements of, over, over the year being very large. And there, both in the analog domain, but one of the funniest things I've ever heard was Bob Stewart, the inventor of uh, MLB, yeah. uh, was asked if now digital could be as good as analog, and he said, if you want, we can put the pops and clicks from the record back in. And? You know what I mean? Yeah. However you <laughs> I'll get make, your, make a comment because some of you. <laughs> however you get your music, as yeah. long as you have fun, you uh, know, there's no right or wrong. And which, uh, which is the song that you usually try to test cat most? Like when you have a, like the new E4 or something, which is the song that you listen to to me? It's, it's, it's never one. I have a little playlist yeah. of about 10 songs. You can name some of them. Uh, yeah, uh, Mark Knopfler, um, uh, a couple other Dire Straits things, Michael Jackson Thriller, because if you don't make it yeah. sound good, <laughs> who's buying it? You know, so, and, uh, and then some sy symphonic stuff. But I like Lou Reed and the Stones and that kind of thing. So, yeah, okay, thank you very much. And final question, what's next for Dan Quark? What's, what do you see the future of We have Park? another model coming uh, probably in a few months. Yeah. But I can't really talk about it yet. Okay. But I'll come back to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I had the pleasure to speak with Andy from Dan Quark. And as always, Asgard Tony, do следващото video. Thank you very much, Andy. Hey, really thanks, much appreciated. guys.